Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. Today we're going to look at what is a sentence. So what makes a sentence? Well, here are three sentences. She reads, The summer sky makes me feel alive. The park district is opening in March. Sentences have two parts. The first one is a subject, and the second, the predicate. A subject is a noun or a pronoun. The predicate, as the predicate, we have a verb as a first word, and then everything else. The subject answers who or what, and the predicate answers what about it. For example, she reads. She is the subject. Reads is predicate. The summer sky is the subject. Makes me feel alive is the predicate. The park district is the subject in this case. Is opening in March is the predicate. A sentence is like the yin yang symbol. The subject is the yin, and the predicate is the yang. These two parts connect to form a stable structure, a sentence. How to break a sentence? Well, use a line to separate the subject from the predicate. Ask, what does the subject do? Answer, the verb. So draw a vertical line in front of the verb. So she, what does she do? She reads. So before reads, we need to write a vertical line. Number two, summer sky. What does it do? It makes me feel alive. Very good. So draw a line before makes. The park district, subject, what does it do? Or what will it do? It will open an outdoor ice skating rink in November. So draw a line, vertical line, before will. A complete subject is the noun or pronoun and all the words around it. So in this case, the summer sky is the complete subject. Okay, the complete subject is the summer sky. That would be my ying. And then makes me feel alive would be my yang. So the sentence is like a yin yang. The complete subject is the yin. A simple subject is a main noun or pronoun in a complete subject. So then, the simple subject in the summer sky is sky. That's right. That's the simple subject. And the summer sky is the complete subject. So find the, com the simple subject within the complete subject, like in the example. My little sister, sister is the simple subject, complete subject, my little sister, broke her arm. Okay, number one, his uncle will ask for directions. Number two, those students carried backpacks. Number three, our baby sister is late again. So what is the simple subject in each one? Yeah, number one, uncle. Number two, students. Number three, babysitter. That's right. Very good. A complete predicate is the verb and all the words around it. The summer sky makes me feel alive. So makes me feel alive is my complete predicate. Yeah, 
We said it again. A sentence is like a yin-yang symbol. The complete predicate is the yang part. A simple predicate is the main verb or verb phrase in the complete predicate. Verb phrase is a helping verb plus a main verb. So like in the example, the summer sky makes me feel alive. So makes is my simple predicate. Makes me feel alive is my complete predicate. So find the simple predicate within the complete predicate. Like in my example, my little sister, simple predicate, broke, complete predicate, broke her arm. Okay, his uncle will ask for directions. Those students carry backpacks. And our sister is late again. So number one, what is the simple predicate? This one is a tough one. Yes, we'll ask. Number two. Yes, carried. Number three. Is. Is is the correct answer. Good for you. So a compound subject is two or more subjects joined by a conjunction. And. Example, John and his teammates are Olympic athletes. Every afternoon, he and the other athletes swim laps. A complete predicate is two or more predicates joined by the conjunction and. Mary cries and slams in the softball game. She worked hard, practiced, and won the championship. Yes, we have end there again. So break the sentence, then underline the compound predicates. Okay, so we have this exercise, and you may pause the video to find the answers. Okay, so here we have our key. The puppy, okay, the puppy is the subject, rolled in the mud and needed a bath. That's the complete predicate. Number two, my uncle, yes, that's the subject, runs a business and teaches piano on the side. That's the complete predicate. Number three, I, yes, that's the subject, Hired Miss Fisher and fired Mi Mr. Cook. That's your complete predicate. Great, you, you did a great job. So if you like the video, please subscribe, like the video, and share it. If you have any questions, please write them or type them under this lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye.